Hey guys, what is up the Neo Cubist here? Welcome to episode 32 of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Uh, if you can't tell, I haven't really moved from last episode. Uh, this entire episode, or what I hope to be, I'm going to try to get like 12 uh, Ender Pearls or so. And then we're going to go to the Stronghold, and uh, we're going to fight the Ender Dragon. Maybe next episode. I don't want to I don't want to compress it all into one. Okay, that's not good. Um, so I think fighting the Ender Dragon... Can I eat steak? Yeah, go ahead and blow up. Yeah, you're dumb. Oh. Come on, do it, dude. Not there. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. We're, we're kind of out in the middle of the boonies here. I'm not sure exactly where I am. Uh, but this episode, I'm going to gather the ender pearls. And then, well, that's a lot of chickens. <laughs> that's a lot of chickens. I'll kill them for their feathers. Wow, that didn't kill the chicken in one shot? I don't need their chicken. I just need their feathers. There we go. Creeper. Get out of here. Dumb head. Oh, there's two creepers. <laughs> Who would drown? Can you give me a trident? That would be nice. Okay, no trident. Uh, but yeah, these chickens are good because the feathers I can make arrows out of. And I'm going to need a lot of arrows for fighting the ender dragon. Uh, we're going to get all suited up. Uh, hopefully by the end of this night I have enough XP. I'm just sort of killing things just to get XP at this point. I can't hold much more in my inventory, which is okay. Uh, but the main goal here is going to be finding endermen. Which, before too long, we will, we will probably encounter another. Well, we, we found two, but one seemed to have disappeared. I'm not sure where it went, uh, but that was a while ago. That was in last EP. Wow, there's just a ton of chickens. You guys just like spawning in the plains by them, huh? Um, I wish I had looting. That would definitely be good I'm for a sword. What is that? Lava? Probably. We'll go check it out, though. Uh, but, yeah, we have 11 feathers. You don't get that many arrows per crafting recipe. I think it's no more than, like, four, I want to say. I don't know the exact number, uh, but endermen really are one of the rarest mobs to spawn. Like, they're at, I mean, besides, like, you know, spider jockeys and some obscure mobs like that. Uh, but I guess I can just run and try to kill chickens. These are fresh-gen chunks, so they're kind of in groups. Because when they, they spawn them, they spawn them, like, in a chunk. This will spawn 0 to 50 chickens. <laughs> so I hope it's not 50. Uh, but we're just kind of running around. And before too long, yeah, there we go. We see two endermen, which is good. You never really see two at once. Uh, I think maybe they spawn in groups, but we have to just sort of hit them as quick as possible. Um, the fire enchant I have sort of messes them up, and I think it makes them teleport further away than need be. Because, you know, every time they take damage, they teleport. So you have to sort of watch, and eventually, or sometimes it seems like they get messed up, and they just never come back because of my fire enchant. Like, look, I mean, that enderman, I don't know where it went, but it may have died underground from my fire. Okay, this sucks. There's like three... It definitely makes them harder to fight. Yeah, see, like, I don't know where they keep going. They just keep disappearing on me. Oh my gosh, why is it so loud? It's just so loud. But yeah, see, they just keep disappearing. And I, oh my god. <laughs> you didn't even kill the skeleton. Let's get out of here. So you'd think that eventually I'd be able to find one, but, like, where did they go? Did they teleport too far away? Oh, I know I'm running into skeletons, but it's okay. My armor's pretty OP. Um, it's actually not that OP. I mean, it's protection too, stuff like that. Not too good. But I'm surprised that both of those disappeared. I've only had it happen once so far. But I guess it really does hold true. Okay, really? It really does hold true that fire enchant on my sword is messing me up. I did have another sword, but I, I stupidly threw it out. Um, it already is. Is it? Oh, it's already becoming day again. Ooh, we can fight this enemy though. See, like, they did, they teleport every single time. I think they just get too far away from me, or something. Yeah, see, like, look, that one disappeared all the way, too. That sucks. We've found, like, four Endermen, and they all just keep running away. Maybe we'll go back to home base and uh, gather up some more things that are better to fight these with, because it doesn't look like we're having too much luck. We only have two Ender Pearls. Uh, we have two back at home base. We need, like, six more. Uh, but, yeah, this sword definitely isn't the best for it. Maybe we'll go try to mine and find some diamonds real quick. You know what, I, see, I think that may be the best plan. Um, yeah, because I don't want to go back to home base. I think it'd be honestly quicker to find diamonds. So we're going to dig straight down here. Trust me, I have the pro strats. If I die from doing this, I'm going to be the most upset man in 2019. I'll earn the award. Uh, we're not going to really gather all this stuff because we have so much crap in our inventory. Please don't be a lava pool. Oh, I hear one. Okay, so now we have to be careful. See, if you hear the lava pool, just start digging carefully. Dig like this. And that way you can always see below you. That's like the best tip I ever received from anyone. Make a two wide hole like this. 
and at that way is you can always see below you so you know when you're about to die like you can always see if it's safe we only need to go to layer 11 so like right here okay and then we'll we'll dump a bunch of stuff in here like we don't need as much as I want a minecart I don't need it I don't need two coal I don't need diorite I don't need gravel I don't need dirt okay I hope you're not picking that stuff up oh uh, we don't need one iron ingot we don't need two spider eyes we don't need four seeds we have so much beef that I'm throwing away a whole stack we don't need rotten flesh we already have too much of that so we'll just strip mine down here I'm not gonna show it on camera but I'm just gonna mine until I find diamonds which it honestly won't take very long I'm so good at it after all these years and I'm not gonna collect anything but diamonds we're only gonna find diamonds but I'll, I'll let you know how long it takes I guess you'll sort of see based on how long my tunnel is but I'll come back when we have diamonds I may be beginning to regret this because I don't know if we'll find diamonds quicker than the amount of time it took us to go back home uh, we haven't mined that long, but it feels like longer than usual, so we should be encountering diamonds pretty soon. Gold, uh, that's one thing I don't have a, like a whole ton of, so we'll collect the gold, especially over uh, whatever we've been collecting. So we do have an ore for that. Um, so hopefully we find them pretty soon. I came back on camera because I wanted to tell you guys that I might be regretting the decision to find diamonds in the field, but I'm pretty sure we'll get them quicker than going back. Diamonds really aren't that hard to find. If you just go down to layer 11 and tunnel exactly like I'm doing it, you mine three blocks, then you mine off to the sides, just to check as far as you can uh, reach, and then you just kind of rinse and repeat one, two, three, and then you just mine more. It's just like that. It's a really easy thing to do. Um, not a lot of people do it, I guess, I don't know, they don't want to find diamonds, I guess, but this is definitely the quickest way. I know that the, technically it is quicker when you're doing a one by one hole, uh, but I feel like a little bit cramped in doing that. And this is not supposed to be a mining episode, so I'm going to cut it out till I find them. Okay, well I hear a skelly walking. Um, again, this tunnel is quite the distance now. Um, it may have been faster to run back home, but now I'm definitely not going to... Uh, the probability of me finding diamonds now should be very, very high. Every time you don't find a diamond in one of these, it just increases. I mean, that's just probability. I mean, technically it doesn't, but I feel like if I've gone this long without finding any diamonds at all, um, then it's going to be very soon that I find them. And, uh, yeah, we're near a cave. I don't know if it's above us, below us, in front of us. Oh, it looks like it's in front of us. Sorry, skeleton, you can't hit me here, but I got you. Um... Oh yeah, see there we go. See, usually, I mean, if you just keep mining, uh, eventually you're gonna have luck. I want to make sure there's none like down here, because uh, I know there's confirmed diamonds there. Uh, but this is a cave at a low level, and uh, if they're gonna be anywhere, they'll be on the floor. It looks like there's a big area over here too. Hey, go ahead and blow up your friend, you dumbhead. Go ahead, do it. I don't care. It's like a pretty big cave system. Uh, there is gold and stuff, so I'll stick around. I'm gonna try to find more diamonds in here. I don't want to get too lost. And I also don't want to go anywhere that goes up, but if it has a chance of going back down like that, you see that? There could be diamonds anywhere down in here, so I know I have confirmed. I know that's not going to work, but it's okay. Um, you always want to check these areas down here, because think about it, When you're strip mining, you expose so few blocks. But, like, look, we wouldn't have found these diamonds. Always run around when you're in a... When you're in a little kit, you guys are going to be like, Neo, the legend. No, but diamonds, it's definitely a science, but... Uh, after a few years, oh wow, these totally just broke, but it's okay. It's lava. It's supposed to catch on fire That may even be a zombie dungeon over there Like you just wouldn't discover this stuff unless you just run around really quickly in these uh, underground portions Just to make sure that there's no diamonds. Uh, that's not a spawner, but that's a lot of iron I don't really need iron though Come on Okay, so we'll run down here again and we'll check uh, but again, it's not supposed to be a mining episode, so we already have the diamonds we need, so we're going to go right back up as soon as we get uh, those other diamonds. But let me just make sure that there's nothing, because this is like at layer 13. So, I mean, there could always be diamonds. Maybe in the, at the end of this tunnel, it goes down a little bit. Again, I'm... Okay, it's blocked off. Not even worth my time. So, we'll just go grab the diamonds over here, and uh, we should be Gucci. We have a ton of diamonds already. I think we just got... Yeah, we just got six. And there's no way we'll die. We have infinite, like food. We got a huge stack of steak. Uh, let's just make sure this doesn't go down and expose diamonds too because like, it, trust me, you're just going to kick yourself in the head if you come down here later and you could have gotten like 15 diamonds. It probably wasn't good that I grabbed them only because I don't know, it's just not good that I grabbed them because I don't have, oh that's the wrong tool. I didn't uh, I, don't, I don't have fortune on this pick but it's not a huge deal. I think I'll survive either way. But that's where the cave entrance is. We'll just spam it with torches. Uh, yeah, more gold. Again, like, I mean, I found a, a good bit of gold, a good bit of diamonds. Um, but I think that should be good. I should have only mined how many I need. 
but let's see if there's anything else down this cave. I doubt, I doubt it, but you never know. Lapis, that's always good. More so in the modded mod packs, but we'll, we'll, we'll still grab it. You still need it in vanilla somewhat. Okay, let's go back up. Uh, we'll craft a little bit of a diamond sword. I just wanted to get a, a one without, and also it was day, so that means it'll become night. Actually, I don't know if it was day. I missed that. Uh, but I wanted it to be night for to do to do this, right? Because if it's not, then um, well, no enderman spawned. But the whole reason I did this was just to get a freaking pick. But yeah, look how much I mined, and I never got a single um, diamond except when I found a cave. So honestly, the best way to do it is just until you find a cave, just do it like that. Okay, we don't need cobble, so we don't need all that. I want to have some inventory space open. Uh, we'll go in here. And we'll pick this up. We'll make a little bit of this. I know it's kind of overkill to do it like this, but sometimes you got to do overkill for the fans. And then we'll use that sword uh, purely for Endermen, only because they don't seem to uh, take too kindly. And I should have, I threw out all my cobblestone, but we have more wood. Um, they don't take too kindly to being set on fire, and they don't react very well. They get very angry, and they get so mad that they have to leave the room and go somewhere else. But it looks like it is day now. Either way, it was about to become day, so it should be more than halfway through it. Because uh, I did mine for quite a bit off camera there. I mean, as you saw. Uh, how much higher up? Okay. Not that much further. I promise I won't make you guys wait too much longer. Here we go. I should put torches down in my hot bar. I don't need these, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Boom. Okay. So, yeah, it's right about to become night, which is absolutely perfect. We don't need one piece. Um... But yeah, I think I remember seeing something that was on fire somewhere over here. But now we have a fresh sword. Hopefully, this, I mean, it won't kill him as fast because it doesn't have sharpness 3. But at the same time, like, it doesn't really matter. I know I spelled destroy wrong. You don't have to point it out. You guys are going to go ahead and point it out in the comments anyways. But I know I spelled it wrong. It was almost on purpose. Almost. Um, I did spell it wrong off the bat. Then I'm like, you know what? I spelled it wrong. So we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, but definitely the best biome to be in is the plains biome. I do like these like stone sort of mountains now. I always feel like these should have been in the game uh, a long time ago, but they look pretty cool. And yeah, maybe if we go on the precipice of this hill, we'll find something cool. Um, I don't know. We don't. Our render distance is so. There we go. Turn it up a little bit. See if we can find anything. Come on, game. You can do it. It's just when it's recording, it like gets shy. It like won't work. But then as soon as I stop recording, it like loads all the chunks instantly. Like what is it doing over there? But again, like that, see, these thumbnails are just beautiful. If it would load the dang chunks, if I pause it, it load. No? Okay, you know what? Fine game. There you go. But it's too late now. It's too, oh, that's not the, that's not the chunk slider. Oh, oh, oh okay. We'll put it down to 12. Our typical recording distance. And uh, let's see if we can get anything good. Dun, 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 dun. Is it, is it, do you see the Big Dipper? I feel like they should have done that, like added an actual map of the stars, but I really don't think they did. Ever so slowly, the pink haze of the sun will disappear into nothingness. And we will... Okay, so there's already stuff spawning. I want to stay up here so that I can find where the Endermen are. Where are the Endermen? That's the big question. I hope nothing spawns around me and just like, like stabs me off the bat. I don't see any mobs. Come on. You guys can spawn. Come on. F3A. Reload the chunks. That did not do anything. Uh, okay, we got skellies. That's nice. Any endermen? At all? Any? Okay. You know what? Fine. We'll just keep running around. We'll find endermen. Trust me. But now when we hit them, they won't just run away. Um, it's much easier to kill them with just a sword without fire aspect. I guess I did not really realize that. But we have two ender pearls. We got eight diamonds. Uh, I thought we had more than ten. Did we throw away some diamonds accidentally in the hole? Ah, whatever. They're not that rare. Everyone always freaks out about diamonds, and me, I'm just like, yeah, diamonds. Gotten so many over the years. Uh, but the most diamonds I ever had in the world was like, I don't know, like seven blocks of diamonds, and then like a stack of like ten or something. I've never really gotten that many, but maybe we'll do a challenge, and we'll try to get um, a stack of 64 blocks of diamonds. I don't know. I'm sure near the finale of the series, we'll do some crazy stuff. Uh, the series really isn't close to being over. I just want to defeat the Ender Dragon, so I felt like I've gotten all the basics out of the way. And then from there, we can start on some real big building projects. And uh, hopefully make the world pretty cool. Uh, but it's good to set goals. That's how you keep the game entertaining. Um, I think there's our first our first Enderman. Not surrounded by anything either. You ready? No! Where? 
Where'd you go? No, don't run away. Don't run away, please. So much better with this non-fire aspect sword. Come on. Nothing. He was a cheap one. I hate how loud that sound is. Like, those, those kind of things, I feel like Mojang should play the game for a second and be like, that's just too loud. Even if you have the hostile mobs turned down to like 30%, it shouldn't like, like clip out. It shouldn't be clipping because it's so loud. Yeah, we'll run around here. Let's hopefully we find something pretty cool. I hope so. Oh, we need to eat. We need to eat bad. I do wish Endermen were a little bit more common, but I guess then you wouldn't have to go hunt them. I always hear about people that are going to hunt Endermen, but you never hear people, I'm going to go hunt skeletons at night. No, you always get, ooh, chicken. I guess from when I killed the chickens with my fire aspect. Yeah, it is. There's a lot of chicken on the ground. I just have so much food that I feel like I don't need it. I really don't need it. Um, uh, any Enderman? Any Enderman? Enderman. I hear, want to hear a British guy say Enderman. They'd be like, Enderman. In it, Enderman. <laughs> Something like that. I have a terrible British accent. Okay, I'll run around. When I see one, I'll come back on camera because it's not too fun to watch me hop around like a bunny at night. Maybe it is, I'm not sure. We're on the hunt though. We could run around like this. Ooh. Oh, that <laughs> didn't work. We have our sword out, so we could technically like play like this. I just fail to see the point of doing it like this. I mean, you can, it's not like it's hard. Uh, oh wow, that's a, that <laughs> that's a lot of mobs in one spot. I guess we'll run back over here. I don't really know where we're, I know that this is the general direction of our jungle. So if we run back over here, eventually we'll find something. I guess it is good to have the crosshair so you can actually see. But like this guy, no avoiding him, we're gonna have to kill him. Yeah, we'll just leave him injured because that's how much I respect the skeletons. I feel like they're overpowered, they got aimbot. It's just not fair. Okay, come on, there has to be Endermen around here. What is that? I don't know what that is. I feel like that was a good cave that we found. Oh, this is near a farm, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Well, we found two Ender Pearls. Um, it's already halfway through the night, so Enderman officially too OP, can't get them. And it's funny because once you get to the end, it just spawn. Like, I mean, obviously there's tons of Endermen and Ender Pearls, and it's like okay, like weird flex, but okay. Now we have just infinite, but now we don't need them. So it's like why game? Why do you do this? Why do you torture us and in this way? But yeah, I'll come back when I see an Enderman, or if I die or something. I mean, I've been running around for like five minutes and see a single, not a single Enderman. It's just like it's crazy how rare they are. They're just like so, so rare. Well, there's so many mobs right here. Look at this group of mobs. I gotta kill them. There's too many to not kill. It feels too good to kill this many. Let's do it. XP for days. Oh, I like how they light you on fire. Fire aspect almost is a double-edged sword. Only because if you attack them and they're on fire and they hit you, they also set you on fire. Oh, well, there's one more. I wasted all my night. Look, it's almost day again, and I, I, there's just no Enderman. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe they're just so that rare. I, I guess I, I really don't know. I thought making that spawner underground would help, but apparently it didn't do anything because we didn't get any Enderman. Um, so yeah, I finally got a, somewhat acquainted with swimming. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've made a full big old circle. This is where we mined for diamonds, I think. It was somewhere around over here. But I still have not found any more Endermen. Oh, there's one right there. Surrounded by a million things. Let's go get him. Please don't teleport away, please. And give us an Ender Pearl at least. Like, we've been searching this long. You have to. I want RNG be in my favor. Yes! Okay. So we're one closer. We only need like seven more, and we should be good. I think we have two back at the house. Um, I don't remember how many we need for the portal. I probably should have looked, but I do have the coordinates of that, so we'll go back to the stronghold. Um, hopefully in this episode, I don't know how long it's been, but I'll wait again until it's night, and uh, then we'll hunt again and hopefully find some. But if I don't see any more in this night, I'll come back when it's starting to become day. Okay, well, it looks like the sun's starting to rise. We've seen plenty of horses, which is nice. But uh, I don't see any... Uh, I don't see any Endermen. I probably should get a horse. I feel like they're much faster than foot travel. But for hunting, I, I feel like an Enderman would totally wreck a horse. But I, then again, I don't know. I've never had my own horsey. Uh, that's where we started out over there. So we'll wait again for it to become night. And uh, once it's becoming night, I guess we'll come back and hopefully get enough Endermen. Like, come on. This is crazy. So I'll see you guys when it's night again. Uh, like 20 minutes later. AFK. But hey, it gives me time to do comments, which is always good. Uh, but it's becoming night. Uh, hopefully this night is the night and we won't have to hunt any more Endermen. 
I don't think we will have to, but if we do, you know, it's okay. Uh, there's lots of llamas, lots of alpacas out here. Um, I really don't know how to tame a horse. I guess you're just you're supposed to click on it enough times and then it'll start to follow you or something? I don't know. But yeah, this episode's not going to end with me not getting enough ender pearls. Uh, pun intended. This will only end if we have enough ender pearls to go to the end. Um, that's that's my goal. I know it's a little bit dark. I, I hope I remember to put on the darkness corrector. Um, if not, yeah, I know I'm running through a pack of creepers, so I don't care. They're dumb. They always blow themselves up anyways. <gasps> Poor chicken. I need your feather, though. I need your feather so bad. Give me your feather. Okay, thank you. I need the feathers for arrows for the end. It, it's for a good cause, I promise, guys. We're going to be fighting the Endermen, so we have to have arrows. Or fighting the... You know, I don't even know. I think there's Endermen there, too. I'll be, I know there is, actually. I used to make mob spawners there a long time ago. They were absolutely insane. I think they nerfed them a little bit. And uh, for good reason. Just because they made so much XP. And then you got, like, just stacks and stacks and stacks of Ender Pearls. I still think it's weird. You can only stack them in 16. I never really understood that fully. Um, like, why can you only have 16 in a stack? You know, you can have 64 diamonds. They're also rare. But it's not like they're limiting you. Um, yeah, this chicken is nice, I guess, to have. I'm really, more than anything, just hoping for Endermen. That's all I'm doing. I'm hoping and waiting. I keep seeing these black sheep or these llamas that are black or the horses that are black. And I always see... I always, I always like, hallucinate that they're Endermen. And I'm like, yes, finally. I run up to it and it's just like... Bah. And I'm like... Ugh. It's so frustrating. Okay, well, I'll come back on camera when I see Enderman, I guess. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on. Come on. Please, and, and there's also a chance, like, a very low chance that they give you an Ender Pearl, which I think is ridiculous. So, first of all, they're super rare, and they have a very low chance of giving you the one thing that you need from them. I guarantee you this won't give us. Oh, they gave us one. Yeah, Skelly Fight. Who's going to win? I got my money on this one right here. I got my money on this guy. Yeah, he hit the shot. Hit the three. Here we go. Whoosh. Don't hit. Oh. Oh, this is a close fight. This is a close. Oh. oh. We lost all of our money. All of our money was on that skeleton. Thanks for not performing like you promised. Okay. Well, I'm just going to keep running around. Maybe we'll go run over this hill. Oh. Right over the creeper. <laughs> oh, cool. And one just spawned right here next to us. If the creeper, if I kill this enderman and then the creeper blows up and breaks the ender pearl, I will literally scream. Like, I'll scream. Okay, well, there's no ender pearl. See, that's just crazy. Like, you finally get an enderman and then it doesn't give you an ender pearl. That should be a guaranteed drop. But, you know, just, just, uh, uh complaining with Neo. Episode 2. <laughs> but hopefully before too long we see another one. Uh, but again, um, wish me luck. You'll see if I find one. Ah, I don't think I had spotted this before. I don't know where I am exactly, but we found a village. Oh, we found a village, so we'll go explore it since we're just sort of running around aimlessly. I don't think this is the one I've already been to. There's a chance it might be, but I want to go try to find the librarian and see what kind of trades they have. So this is the blacksmith's house. Um, okay, so yeah, not that good of stuff. And there's no blacksmith in here. Where does he sleep? He doesn't sleep in his place of work like me? Come on. Okay, the chest, the door's open. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the one I was already at. I don't know. I don't remember ever finding a spruce one except off the... Like, initially I found... Oh, there's no there's no villagers in here. Oh, is this the village? Oh, this is the original village that we found. Yeah, all the villagers are... They're, uh, they're dead. There's only one alive that wasn't pillaged. <laughs> Which is so sad. Uh, okay, so that means we're really close to the farm. It's just, like, up over here. So, again, I've made a full circle... Uh, we have four ender pearls. I think we need, like, I'm going to try to get ten before we go home. There's an enderman. There's our, uh, there's our fifth ender pearl. Guaranteed. Here we go. One more hit. One more. Are you kidding, Are you kidding me, dude? This stuff just makes me so mad. They're so rare. God, they're so loud. They're so loud and they're so rare and they don't even give you the one thing they're supposed to give you. It's just frustrating. Okay, well you guys probably have no idea where I am, but I, I honest to God don't know what happened. I didn't look over, but when I was recording, uh, I think I was 25 minutes into it, my hard drive got completely full, 
which is odd because I have a lot of space left, but the, it just didn't record it. But we finally got the Ender Pearls. Um, I remember I looked over and I was like, that the last footage was from like 10, 15 minutes ago. And I was like, well, I, but I've been recording. And I was like, oh no. Uh, so I guess it's not the end of the world because the end of the world end. We're going to the end. We got 11 pearls. Woo. Uh, but yeah, it, it was kind of bad. So somehow it, I guess it just didn't record. I don't really know. I don't even know the direction I should be running because I had to go mess with some stuff. But I cleared up a little bit of space. Um, this is going to be the fourth ep episode I have pre-recorded. So if I can't see your comments, I'm sorry. But we're about to go to the end. I just need to find my way home. No pun intended. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty cool. The next episode is going to be us uh, actually fighting the Ender Dragon, finally, after all this time. Uh, but yeah, it should be pretty cool, so I think I just need to run over here. Um, again, I am sorry that it didn't record it, but you didn't miss much. All you did was me, like, comp miss... All you did miss was me finding Endermen, killing them, then complaining when they didn't drop Ender Pearls. So you didn't miss a whole bunch, I promise. It's probably good that it cut that, because I had too much footage. Uh, but it took a long, long 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 time like I think it was like three or four extra nights like I I can't even explain my frustration I thought it would happen a lot quicker and I don't know where we're going I legitimately I don't know I feel like we're traveling the wrong way but again like I don't know so well, I'll find my way back home eventually I'm sure I'll see a landmark here pretty soon that I'll be like oh yeah that was uh, the wrong way but again like I don't know I, th I feel like it might have been over that way but either way we got the ender pearls uh, we don't need much else um, it took long enough. I'm done doing it. I'm glad I'm done doing it. Uh, this sword has so many bad memories that we're just going to uh, can drop it in the water and never see it again. We already have a bunch of them made. Don't worry. I'm not like wasting resources that bad. But let me pull up the coordinates of my base, and uh, I should be able to find it because I don't know where I am. Yeah, I'm completely lost. All right, let me find the coordinates of my base, and then I'll meet you guys back at the home base, like all the way back, because. I don't want to show that, but we do have the minecart track working, which would be cool to show, but again, it's just a track, not that exciting. So I'll meet you guys back at home base. <sighs> Feels good to be back home, but gosh, that takes so long to get here. Uh, we have a pretty giant world, which I am proud of. It's good that we have a big world, uh, but yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of prep in this episode, and then I think next episode is just going to be us going to the end. I hope I have enough blaze powder in here. I think I have more ender eyes than I need. Uh, but that, okay, yeah, we definitely have more than we need, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, I have the coordinates saved on my phone of the, uh, ender, uh, ender pearl. So let's go ahead and put a few things up here. Like, for instance, there's a ton of steak in here. We have, uh, leather right here. We have lapis. We have gold ore, which we'll put over here. We have cooked potatoes, which are a finished food, so they go in here. Uh, mob drops, like feathers, which we're gonna need all these. We're gonna need all the arrows we can grab as well. Um, and then a string goes in there, um, there's gold, so it feels nice to have a sorted, like, inventory. It's definitely a lot better than it was before, because before we were just kind of throwing things all willy-nilly. Um, that's a rare item. This is dirt, we don't need that. We'll put grass even in there, which is nice that we got grass. We'll put that up. Uh, all this rail stuff, we'll put it in, back into this proper chest. Uh, that's a mob drop, it goes in there. Pumpkin, that's a farming thing, so we'll put that in here. I uh, need to put the normal rails up. We'll put the sticks up. And then, uh, yeah, we should be pretty good. We don't need two axes, so we'll put that in the tool chest. See, we already have a bunch of swords that are, like, barely hurt from when we raged and went to the nether. But I think we have gravel right here. And then, obviously, we have sticks. Now, hopefully, this can make enough for us to be good. I don't know. I mean, three stacks of arrows, that should be okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the flint up. We'll put it in the corner. Uh, we'll put the sticks up. So we have 26 steak, but I feel like we're going to need a little bit more or some bread. So we'll bring steak and bread. Uh, we have enough torches to last a lifetime. We have the ender pearls. Uh, what else do we really need? Probably our mending bow with power three. I'd say that's probably a good option. We're going to need a ton of snowballs um, just to get that. So uh, yeah, it looks like that's everything I'm going to need. I'm going to try to defeat the uh, ender dragon next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, I did not take any screenshots of the endermen which is terrible because that's like the one thing I need a screenshot of. So it looks like I'll have to find another Enderman and do that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like on the episode if you enjoyed it. I know it's not the longest episode in the world, but next episode uh, it might be a little bit longer because we're going to go fight the Ender Dragon and finally beat that. But yeah, I really hope you guys are enjoying the series thus far. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed and turn on those post notifications so you can see me fight the Ender Dragon in a day or two. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.